Welcome to our Categorization of Access Controls module. There are three types of controls, administrative, technical, and physical. Administrative controls are put in place to provide employees with direction on keeping information and systems secure. This includes plans and policies, standards and procedures. Screening your employees before they are hired is a good example of an administrative control. Another example is to provide your employees with security awareness training. It is also important to make sure that there is a testing component of your security awareness training, and that is a concept that you will most likely see on the CISSP exam. If you are not testing your employees to ensure that they understood the material that you taught them in the training course, then you're not being as effective as you could be. Technical controls are also known as logical controls. These are electronic countermeasures put in place to protect your systems and your information. An example here is an antivirus software program to protect your system from viruses, intrusion detection systems to detect unauthorized access to your network, and locking down your computer's operating systems and putting in place encryption technology. Physical controls are designed to protect your employees, your buildings, and your systems from damage or theft. These are typically tangible items that you can see. Examples of physical controls include security guards, guard dogs, fences, locks, and surveillance cameras. There are several different control categories that you should be familiar with. The exam may request that you select the appropriate category for a specific control. Directive controls instruct the user on appropriate behavior. An example of a directive control would be security awareness training. Another example is providing exit signs so that employees know the correct way to exit the building in case of an emergency. Deterrent controls are designed to discourage individuals from violating your security policy. An example of a deterrent control is a warning banner that appears before a user logs into the system. These banners attempt to deter individuals who do not have permission from logging onto the system. Preventative controls take steps to actually block unwanted activity from occurring. Unlike a deterrent control, like a banner, which simply warns a user that they should not log in but does not prevent them from doing so, a preventative control actually stops some action from occurring. An example of a preventative control is an intrusion prevention system. When it detects unauthorized activity, it blocks that activity from continuing. Compensatory controls are designed to mitigate risks and make up for any deficiencies in your other controls. An example would be job rotation. Job rotation is not going to prevent an employee from taking fraudulent actions. However, by rotating that employee out of that job every six months, their actions will not be permitted to continue for an unlimited amount of time, and the new individual who takes over that job will hopefully detect that those unauthorized activities were occurring. Detective controls are designed to alert an administrator or other authorized individual of a violation of the security policy, either while it's occurring or after it occurs. For example, a logging system in place to notify an administrator when someone attempts to log in with an incorrect password too many times is an example of a detective control. Corrective controls are designed to minimize the impact of an incident and bring your systems back to their original baseline status before the incident occurred. An example of a corrective control is a fire extinguisher used to extinguish a flame after it occurs to prevent damage to your systems and your facilities. And finally, recovery controls involve recovering systems and restoring them back to their normal status after an incident has occurred. An example of a recovery control is backups that are in place allowing you to rebuild your system if a hacker destroys your data. This slide provides us with some control examples that fall within the different categories and types of controls. One example of a deterrent administrative control is an acceptable use policy or AUP. This document informs employees what they are permitted to do on your system and what they are not permitted to do on your system. An example of a preventative technical control is a firewall ACL 
or access control list. These lists allow administrators to selectively block or allow traffic on your network based upon a specific factor in the communication, for example, an IP address. An example of a preventative physical control is a fence that attempts to keep unauthorized individuals off of the property. An example of a detective technical control is an intrusion detection system. This system will detect unauthorized users accessing your network and alert a system administrator so that actions can be taken to stop this threat from occurring. And finally, a corrective administrative control is reassignment. If an employee violates the security policy, you can reassign them to a role where they have less access to your sensitive systems. This concludes our categorization of access controls module. Thank you for watching.